السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد علی اینڈ یو آر واچنگ گیٹ یور مینوفیکچرنگ سکسیز وتھ محمد علی ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی وانٹ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو میک دس مینیفولڈ ایگزاسٹ پارٹ ان کیو پیرامیٹرک سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ سو فرسٹ آف آل وی کریٹ نیو پارٹ ماڈل اینڈ ڈیفائن دی یونٹ so i am selecting millimeter newton second part solid unit so first of all uh, we create multiple sketches and then we create solid profile with the help of these sketches so select sketch tool and then select right plane for front and front plane for top and define the orientation now i am creating diameter with the dimension of 100 mm and then create a center line with angle 38 okay create another circle so i am creating the line on this axis to define the reference and define the dimension 65 mm and create a circle at the end of this line same as i am create i create another line with dimension 65 and then create circle okay now i delete this reference line and create a tangent line between these two circles so you can select tangent line over here and select first circle then select this circle command is uh, activate uh, this black cursor shows uh, you already select a command with the help of this line you can easily create a tangent line okay now it's time to trim unnecessary entities from my this uh, 2d section this one is uh, remaining Okay. So my first sketch is completed. Now I will pattern it. Select pattern command and then select the pattern type is direction. I am selecting this datum plane, define the quantity of my sketch and then the offset distance. then we create another datum uh, with the reference of front plane and the offset distance is 171 okay and we will use this datum plane for another 2d section so select sketch command and then select this datum plane and go to sketching mode uh one thing i want to add in my sketch is datum point so here is the datum point in sketching mode and i create at the center 
of my 2D section. Now we have four datum point. We use this datum point for reference. So again, uh, I will select sketch command and then select my this datum plane. Okay. Now we use uh, reference command and create a reference with the help of uh, this datum point and then create a single line to find the center of these uh, four sections. Now I go to a uh, plate mod and then select three side triangle and double click on it and then click on your screen and then OK. Close this dialog box. Now we define, uh, we will define the dimension of the section. So first of all we define 120 mm offset distance and then define the distance between this these two edges and I will delete this dimension and specify it 105 okay so here I'll create circle with the diameter of 30 mm and then create another three circle with the end of these two lines which is equal to this diameter and then create a tangent line I also okay first of all <coughs> I want to center it okay and then create a circle with 70 mm diameter so another 2d section is completed This line is not necessary. I just created it for reference. Okay, now it's time to create another wireframe. So I'm selecting front datum and go to sketching mode. create center line with the help of this datum point and okay redefine it and then click okay I also create a datum point at the center of this section from reference which will be used for the creation of datum plane. So select datum plane and then select this datum point and then select parallel datum plane. So I created another datum plane and use this datum plane for sketching okay define reference with the help of this datum point and then create a center line and then create a single line with dimension of 
112 millimeters. Okay. Height the da reference datum and then create another curve with the help of curve through points. Select this end point, press control key and then select this end point. Now it's time to create radius between these two lines and these two lines and first of all we create a datum point for the reference of radius. So go to the datum point and then select this line you can find here is a two option one is ratio and the other is real so I can use real and the distance 82.88 from here so I will change the start point and then define 80 millimeter from here and then create new point and then select this line so change the start point next line and then click click ok <coughs> ok now create a curve points and then select this datum press control key and then select this datum so here is the you can find the condition of free over here in these two points so we need to change it from tangent so my first point goes to tangent and define the reference this line so our curve is creating tangent C from this line. Select endpoint, then go to tangent and select this line. Okay. Again, we will repeat this procedure. So select this line for the creation of datum point and then select real then change the start point and then define the dimension create new one select this line just define 30 mm <coughs> sorry for that okay curve through point select and then select this datum point with control key select another datum point and then create here you can find the start point and end point so change the end condition so I am selecting tangent and then define the reference for tangent select end point then select tangent and then select a tangent reference so you can flip it and then click OK. So now we want to trim out these extra lines. So first of all select your targeted curve and then select trim and then define the trimming limit. Change the direction and then click OK. Repeat this procedure select curve then select trim and then select datum point. These, uh, this blue color shows uh, the remove curve so you can change it to a, according to your requirement ok then click OK. Again select this curve, select trim command and then define the limit. Change 
the desired curve and then click OK. So our first 3D curve is ready. Now I want to mirror this curve. But first of all we create another curve which is belong to this section. So again you select sketch command then select this datum plane and then go to sketching mod. Okay this was wrong datum plane again I select sketching and then select front ok and there, then go to sketching mode define the reference with the help of this datum and create center line and then define a vertical line with dimension of 50 mm then click ok again Again select uh, sketch command and then select this datum and go to sketch. hide all uh, datum features and then again create curve through point select this end point and then select this end point with the help of control key and then click ok again create a datum point select this line select real option and then define the start point New point, select this line, change the start point and then define the dimension. Now we have two datum points, <coughs> select this one and then select this one with control key and then define the tangency. So select end condition and then define this one. Select end point, then select tangent and then select this line. And then click OK. Again we create datum point on this line. With this start point and define the dimension of 30 mm add new point select this line again use real option 30 with the help of these two datum points again we create a curve tangent curve select tangent and then select this line select next point then select end condition tangent and then select this point if you see your curve uh, oppositely create tangency so you can flip it and then click OK. Now it's time to trim. So first we select this curve, then select trim command. Again, I select this datum point, define the desired direction, and then click OK. Again, select this curve and then select trim command and 
then datum point then click ok we repeat this procedure Okay, now we have two curves. One is a start from over here, and then the other curve start from over here. <coughs> so I convert it to group. So now I will create a copy of this curve. Select one entity, then press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. With the Shift key, you can add all the curve which is connected, and then click OK. So I will hide this group. So this curve will be selected in one attempt. I repeat this procedure first. Uh, select one entity, then press Ctrl C, Ctrl P from your keyboard, and then select related curve with Shift key, and then click OK. So we can use these two curve form create our solid geometry or solid profile. So unhide all datum planes, unnecessary datum planes I want to hide. Okay, now I create another datum plane for mirror these two curves. Okay, unhide top plane, then select datum plane command and select this datum point and then select top plane. So you will find another datum plane with the center of this triangle uh, profile. And then we use this datum plane for mirror these two curves. Okay, so first select this copy and then click on mirror and then select the mirroring reference. Okay, again select second curve and then select mirror and then select the mirroring reference. Okay, now we have all curvature from our 2D sections. Then I want to hide this datum planes and create solid profile. So select sweep profile, go to reference and select trajectory, select first. So first of all I sweep this profile, go to reference and select this trajectory. This is the start point and go to sketching mode. And then create a circle at the center of these two center line. One is vertical and, another, and the other is horizontal. So I create a circle with the dimension of 70 mm and then click OK. Again select uh, sweep command, go to reference, then select this trajectory, this is a starting point and then go to sketch, click on a sketch view and then create a circle with 70 mm 
at the center of these two center lines okay repeat this procedure again and again okay go to sketch sketch view again Okay, before create a solid face with the help of this uh, 2D section, we will shell this profile. So go to shell command and define the wall thickness of your part. So I am defining 2 mm. Okay, now it's time to add remove surfaces so click on here and then select uh, remove faces which you want uh, if you want multiple opening faces so you uh, can create it with the help of control key press control key and then select multiple faces like that and then click ok ok so and then create this 3d profile so go to project and then select chain select one entity another entity without control key click on next so you will find all the entities are selected and then click on accept okay repeat this procedure select one entity and the other entity click on next and then accept okay now I create a fitting circle all these center points this pink color shows the 2d section is closed also I create a projection of manifold exhaust opening end in this plane so use project command and then select these edges okay and then click okay the offset distance is 10 mm now create another solid profile with the reference of these outlines select this item plane and go to sketching mode click on flip and then project your desired curves so I will be select all the curve and then and just select the opening edge of manifold exhaust trim out all unnecessary entities okay
create another circle at the end of these two lines which is equal to this circle and the uh, dimension of this circle is 16 mm then click ok the offset distance is 10 mm ok the major portion of uh, our this solid model is completed now I want to hide all wireframes and then apply a radius the dimension of radius is 10 mm select all edges with control key and then click ok apply a chamfer on all edges of holes with control key in curio parametric uh, you can create a multiple feature with control key so So it's almost completed. Then we apply radius and finally I will apply render. Okay. Now select round tool and then select these edges with the dimension of 10 mm and then click OK I will also hide the mirror curves and then hide all datum features on hide spin icon and then define material so go to the view tab and appearance section then go to metal and then select silver uh, sorry so I will select aluminium and then select aluminium cast so you can find the brush on your screen and then select the main icon of your part and then click OK. So material is applied. Go to application and just click on render studio. The orientation will be changed. Okay. So it will be uh, complete after a few minutes you can find uh, the proper render image of your model so inshallah we will meet in our next lecture take care yourself and connect with us assalamu alaikum